Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So I went through your submissions for the I Wanna Paint Your Pet video and it was very difficult because everyone's pets are totally adorable, but I narrowed it down to just one and our winner, Amanda and her dog Bandit, you guys are the winners and we're gonna jump right into painting this video. Now, if you know me, I hate drawing animals. I don't even know why I did this. It's like I like to torture myself, but I practiced and I traced it. <laughs> and it actually turned out pretty good. So now you're gonna see how I kind of did it. So let's jump right into the video. So after tons of submissions of everyone's adorable pets and very hard decisions, you guys, it's really hard to pick. There were so many adorable pets and dogs and cats and some birds, oh my God. I have finally come to pick one, and this is Bandit. He is adorable, those eyes, I couldn't help myself. So we're gonna give it a try and paint him today. If you see me do these tutorials before where I trace it on my iPad first, I'm just gonna go quickly how I do that. So I have uploaded the picture of the dog to my iPad, and I have put it into my, Cro my, Cro -create, my Procreate app. Then what I do is I take the opacity tool and I bring it down to make it lighter. Then I create a new layer, so I already created one with that little plus button, and I draw over it with ink, okay? So then, once I take away that picture, I have the ink drawing, it looks crazy right now, and it makes me a little nervous <laughs> to paint this. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to a dark area, and I'm gonna trace this outline onto my watercolor paper the best I can, and then we can start painting. The reason why I do an outline like this instead of tracing right from the picture is because of all the dark colors on the actual photo, it's actually really hard to see the outline. So I'm tracing it like this and I trace the animal because trying to find the proportions, it just stresses me out. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not the best at drawing animals. Um, so this is what I do, I, I trace it. And that's what we're gonna do today. So I'm gonna go trace this onto watercolor paper and then we will get back and start painting. Okay, so I am done my outline and now we are gonna start painting with watercolor. I am painting on Arches watercolor paper today. I have my Winsor Newton Professional watercolors in my palette. I have my Princeton snap brushes with me in a size six and 12 round. And I also have my water and paper towel and we're ready to go. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put in our highlights. So the lightest part of the animal. So that would be the dog's nose and the white fur around here. And if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that when we paint something that's white, it's never true white like the paper. So we have to create some sort of off-white tint to do all the white stuff. I'm saying white a lot. Um, <laughs> so I'm just gonna erase some of these pencil marks just so they're not so harsh. And I'm going to take my size six brush and I'm just gonna mix a very, very light wash of brown, maybe a little bit of black for a bit of a gray in there. I'm just gonna try and find the color that I want. A little bit of black, a little bit of brown. Really, really light wash, like barely there, okay? And I'm gonna start placing in the highlights. I actually might even grab a little bit of indigo and put it in there too. Okay, so I'm just gonna start by laying in those highlights with this wash. Okay, going up the nose like that. And around it and keeping it wet because we're gonna drop in a bit more color to this light wash as well. Go around. So as you can see, you can barely tell that there's color there, but there is a slight off-white tint to it. So once it dries, it will show up like a color, but it will be very, very light. Okay, and then there's just a little bit of white here. I'm gonna grab a little bit more blue, just to the top of the nose here, bit of indigo or Payne's Gray. My Payne's Gray has a bit more of a blue tint to it, so that's, I'm just gonna soften up these edges. I don't want them so hard. Just taking some clean water. 
because we're going to go over the side of the faces here with black and brown later, but I don't want the lines to be too harsh. So I'm just taking some clean water. I'm just moving it around just a bit. Okay. So there we go. Uh, maybe a bit more of grayish around the nose. A bit more again, blue on there like that. And then we have under here, under the mouth, and it's a bit more of a beige white. And I'm going to show you how I, I paint the fur after. Um, fur is very hard to do, so it definitely takes a lot of practice. I don't think I've mastered it by any means, um, but there are some tricks that you can do, so I will show you that too. Now this dog has a cute little Michigan bandana on it that I will probably include. I'm just gonna take a bit more of that brown and just drop it in a little bit. Again, using very minimal paint. Okay, it's mostly water, just slightly tinted. And towards the outside of the body where the fur is, I'm just gonna create little lines, just like that. Just so it's not a straight edge, okay? Bring this down. And then as we get closer to the bottom of the dog, I'm just gonna slowly fade it out. So do your little hair strokes. I'll do the bandana after I think like that, like that. And then I'm just going to pop in any shadows that there might be. So a little bit of gray. So under here, I'm just going to drop it a bit of darker color. that. Okay. And there we have our highlights. And now we can move on to the black part. So now um, I'm going to let it fully dry before I start the black part because I don't want it to bleed in too much into this. I want it to be a bit more separate or I wanna have a bit more control over it. So let's wait for this to completely dry and then we will start the black parts of the dog. Okay, so now that it's dry, I'm also just gonna draw in where that bandana is. I forgot to do that earlier. So I'm just gonna draw it coming here like this, just so I know where it is. Okay, now we can start doing the black parts. And even with the black parts, it's not fully true black, especially everywhere. So let me just mix in my color. I'm gonna get some black and I'm gonna also mix a bit of burnt umber into it. Like that. And we're gonna start with the highlights of the black. So we're gonna start with a light wash and then right where they kind of meet where that uh, white line is up the middle, it's a bit lighter at point. So I'm just putting my light parts in first. So it's more of a gray. So wash off my brush. I'm just gonna bring it slowly towards the middle. Let it bleed just a bit, but not too much. Okay, come up. Like that. Oh, what was I doing? Forgot that part's white. <laughs> it's all good. Okay. Come in here, come around where that white nose is. Okay, come around the eye. And I'm just gonna start, I'm just gonna place this kind of light wash of the black where it is on the dog's face. Cause we're gonna go in and drop some darker bits. Okay, so filling it all with this light wash of gray. Okay.
around the eye like that and even up the ear too. And the tough part about this is making sure that your paper stays wet. I know it can be a little tricky. So if you need to just add a bit more water where you think it might be drying a bit. Okay, because we want it nice and wet when we are dropping more color back in there. Okay, so I'm first gonna dry, sorry, I'm gonna grab some brown, mix it a bit with black. There's a bit of brown up here around the eye. It's very dark, but there's definitely brown in there. And then I'm gonna grab my black and I'm gonna go and put it right where the darkest parts of the dog are. So around this eye, I love the way it bleeds too, it's so pretty. go around the, the ear before it dries. I'm gonna make it a little bit lighter inside the ear and then darker around the edge of the ear. It's definitely darker here. And around here, just kind of showing the shape of the face a little bit. Maybe a little bit darker inside the ear too. I'm actually gonna lift up a little bit here. There's a bit of an eyebrow almost, which is highlighted. So I just wanna lift it up just a bit like that. Okay, now I'm just gonna soften out this line here. I think I might've gone too far into the middle. Uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, like that. And then you can always just take your brush with like no paint on it and just move that wet paint around making some little hair flicks with the tip of your brush, okay? You're just kind of pushing that wet paint out. So you don't even need any paint or water on your brush. Like that, okay? Let's make sure we surround that eye properly. Like so. Okay, let's do the other side of the face. So I'm just gonna do a light wash. And there is some black on the, the nose part too, but I want it to be lighter. So we're just gonna start off with this side of the face and then we will do the nose later. And there you go. Okay, let's move on to the nose. Actually, I'm just gonna sharpen up this eye a bit. There we go. 
Let's move on to the nose while we're waiting for that to dry. Um, so I'm gonna start again with a lighter wash. The whole thing is black, but we're gonna just start off with the lighter wash to start. Start off with the lighter wash to start, okay. I speak well, don't I? Okay, so going over the whole nose like this. And the top of the nose is a bit lighter. There's like a bit of a highlight, so that will be this color like that. And then we'll go back in with the black down here. The nostrils are there. I know this looks weird. We'll sharpen it up after. I'm just, oopsie, just dropping in a bit of black. You'll see what I mean once it dries and then we add detail. Right now it's looking a little busted, but I'm just gonna hope. So I'm just taking my dry brush and I'm just doing a couple hairs above pushing that paint just a little bit. Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to the tongue. So the tongue is a pink color, so I'm just gonna grab some permanent rose. We're going to take a little bit of green to mute that pink so it's not so, so, so pink. And I'm just going to do a light wash of it. Might need a little bit more orangey. There we go. Light wash to start. Okay, and then we're gonna create a shadow at the top here because the upper lip of the dog would be creating a shadow. So I'm just gonna grab some more of that green, mix it in, and it almost becomes this like grayish color. I'm just putting a shadow there. Maybe a bit darker. that. I'm actually going to do a little line there on the tongue like that. Actually, I think that's too thick. <laughs> oh, goodness. Wash it off. Okay. That's good enough for now. Okay. So I'm just looking around if there's any other areas that need a bit more work before it dries. You know what, let's do some more. Let's do the bandana. I'm gonna draw out my M first. Like that. And then I'm just going to write out the word Michigan. Like that, just so I can see where I want to put it. Uh, I'm going to erase it a bit. Okay, and I'm going to go with yellow for this M first. So. dry before I go around it. Okay, so let's just wait for everything on here to dry and then we can start doing a bit more detail. Okay, so now that it's dry, we're gonna do a little bit of detail on the white fur. So I'm just gonna take that color that we had before and I dry it off my brush and I'm just gonna kind of do this to my brush. Just break up the bristles a bit. And I'm just going to, hold on. 
You really want to separate those bristles. It's not great for your brush, but you know what? Just try it. <laughs> and you're just going to create these little like hair strokes almost. Like that with your dry brush. And it just kind of creates this illusion of fur a bit. Okay. With the, like the tiniest little bit of paint on your brush, like tiny, tiny, tiny. Because essentially you want this to be dry, this brush. Okay. Like that. Okay, so there's that. I might actually go in a little bit under this bit of fur and just do a little bit of shadow wash off and dry my brush like that again dry it kind of break up those bristles and then just flick it out a bit and we're going to do this with white ink too after to kind of spread it around okay so now we're going to do the inside of the mouth here and it's dark in there so i'm going to come up under this lip and then there's kind of teeth back there and there's a tooth here we're just going to darken inside like that and then on this side dropping in a bit more black Like so, and you can even go around the mouth part. Like that. Like so. Okay, and then remember under on this side, he's got a bit of black too, under his nose under here. So I'm just gonna do a light wash. Wash it off, kind of blend out those edges so it's not too, too harsh. And then I'm just gonna darken up right here. Okay. I'm also gonna do maybe just a couple dots like that. Okay. So there we go. Um, let's do the nose now. So, we're gonna add a bit more black. So we're gonna do those nostrils. We're gonna just sharpen them up. Like this. I'm gonna wash off my brush. I might just let it bleed out just a little bit. It's darker underneath here too. It's kind of just highlighted a bit more at the top of the nose. So I'm just leaving that a bit lighter. Uh, we're not sharpening up those nostrils just yet. <laughs> I'm blending it in a bit more. I don't know what I'm doing. Like that. Okay. I'm gonna sharpen this up a bit more too. Okay. Like that. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna sharpen up the ears a bit more. Uh, I'm going to darken it up over here. I think I'm going to wet the whole ear again to make it really separate from the head because it looks like it is over here a bit. So I'm just going to wet it all up. I'm going to drop in some more black behind here. If you can hear my son, he's trying to wake up from his nap and he's not supposed to. He's only been down for a little bit, so I'm just going to see if he'll fall back asleep a bit. And then my husband can go get him. Okay. 
So I'm just gonna wet up this ear now. Throw in some more black behind there. And I really like this black, it's bleeding quite nicely. It almost gives it that fur kind of look the way it blooms. I'm just gonna do a bit more darkness around here. Just some little hair strokes kind of. And again, you can dry up your brush and just do some more of those like hair strokes. Okay, again, just dropping a bit more darkness in there. And then I'm going to just sharpen up the hairs around here. Like that. Add a bit more shadow where there are darker parts. So maybe down here. Just look at whatever reference photo you're using and just try your best to replicate that. So I have my sharper lines here, drawing up my brush and then I'm just gonna flick it out to get that hair like. Feel to it, okay. Let's see, a bit more darkness up here. Wash off your brush, dry it. Dry up those bristles and just like that, okay? Again. Now I'm gonna just darken up that nostril area. Like that. Okay. Again, you can just even have some going on of the black dried brushes. Just, I don't, I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Just getting some, some fur going like that. So just dry up your brush and your paper towel, let the bristles look like that and just kind of drag some of that color out like that. Okay. Now I think we're gonna go for the eyes. The eyes always make it a bit better, <laughs> I think. So this doggy has brown eyes. So I'm gonna start with this little brown mixture here. And I'm just gonna go around the eye like this. Now there's very little white in the eyes. Little, very little white space, like almost none. So you're gonna have to make sure you're kind of filling the eyeball up pretty well. Like, like so. And then I'm gonna let it dry and then I will do the pupil. While that's drying, I'm gonna make the bandana so let's get our blue going. I have some ultramarine here. And I'm just gonna go around that lettering. Actually, maybe I'll grab some indigo for a bit more of a darker blue. I'm just gonna kind of actually try and do a bit of a jagged edge so it looks like there's fur kind of coming over it. Okay, and then we can even put some white fur in there after. Let's see, I'm gonna use my indigo for this, I think. The dog's eyes right now look crazy, but it will look better once we got the pupils and everything in there. that. 
Okay, so now I'm just gonna take some a little bit of white ink and I'm just going to just grab a little bit to start and I'm just gonna do some dots of where the whiskers are gonna be. And then we are gonna do some white whiskers on the actual dog as well. And I might grab a little bit of highlight, put it on the nose there like that. Okay, now that the eyes are dry too, we can do the pupil part so he doesn't look as crazy. <laughs> so I'm gonna grab my black and I'm just gonna go around the eye. Like this. Around the eye shape, around the brown, and then in the middle. I think I'm gonna fill it all, am I? No, I'm not. I'm gonna leave a little bit of white space for a highlight. And already his eye looks a bit better, right? I might grab a bit more brown. Just do some really, really light lines. Oh God, the eye looks already better. Okay, now the other one. Like that around the black in the pupil. Leave that white space like that. That looks a little crazier. You know what? I am going to add the pup or the highlight after with some white. It's just easier to kind of get them the same, grab a little bit of brown and do some of those little lines like that. I find eyes are just so hard sometimes. A bit less white space on this one. Okay, and then we'll let that dry. Again, just gonna sharpen that up a bit and let that dry. Okay. So now we can do um, those little whisker parts. So I'm just going to take my white and I'm just going to really, really lightly, really light pressure, just do little white whisker things we're getting too much really lightly and then you can also add any white that you feel you may need to any of the white fur you can add it going on to that bandana part i'm gonna do this tooth a bit more like that. And we're just waiting for that eye to dry so we can do the last little bit and then I think we'll be done. I'm gonna grab a bit of white. I'm actually gonna go underneath the eye here, like that. Then on this side too. And I'm gonna do that little highlight, the same on this one, like that. Okay, that looks better. I think. Maybe a little highlight on the top too, just to open the eyes up a bit. Like that. Again, get more highlight on the nose here. A little bit of highlight where the ears are. And then you can even do where the white part is. Just a bit more fur. Like that, just for a bit more texture. Like that. It's not bad. Anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. So our next video in this series is gonna be, I want to paint your 
family. So I'm gonna be doing cute little easy illustrations that you guys can follow along with your own family portraits. But if you want me to paint your family and send you the original painting, submit your pictures to the email in the description below. Make sure you don't mind having your photos on my YouTube channel. And if you wanna include your names, you totally can. Just let me know, be specific and start emailing me. I can't wait to see you guys and your beautiful families. I hope you have a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram and Facebook for more. Have a great day, guys. Bye.